Hello and welcome back to Crypto Live Leak. My name is Ken. We're here at Token Fest Boston 2018 and have the pleasure of meeting here with Zach from the Elastos Foundation. How are you doing today, Zach? I'm doing great. How are you doing, Ken? Doing very well. And uh, let's just start out. So Elastos is one of the hottest ICOs uh, that happened back, was it earlier in 2018? It's actually a, a token sale token and it happened uh, earlier in the year, about February. Okay. Thank you. And uh, so what you guys are doing is you're building the internet of the future here. Uh, you're disrupting the current internet. You want to just go into a little bit about uh, basic of what Elastos does? Well, basically Elastos is focusing on building a new infrastructure for the internet. So our founder is an operating systems expert. He's been doing this for about 35 years. So the relationship between the operating system on our device and the internet it's where so, many of the, so much of the dysfunction comes in on how we access data, how we send data. So what we're doing is we've created what's called a network operating system. So on your device, your operating system deals with just your device. It's a very central operating system. So if you connect devices peer-to-peer -peer into sort of one supercomputer, that's why we say the network is the computer, this network has one operating system that does get involved in everything that happens. It's called a network operating system. This project's been in development for close to 18 years. Um, so it's an infrastructure to completely decentralize the internet, make data so much safer, be able to own data, be able to make an economy out of data. We had blockchain in 2017. Blockchain, we believe, is excellent at one thing, creating trust. Right? It's, a, it's a fantastic ledger. We don't want it to do anything more than that. So this is not a blockchain-centric project. It's certainly a new internet and infrastructure project. And blockchain does the one thing we think it's really geared to do for us, which is distribute IDs to everything in our ecosystem and create trust so we can send data to each other um, and we can know who owns what data. Yeah, yeah definitely highlighting uh, main benefits of what blockchain adds to the, the system that you're building here. Um, so now you have some entities here. You have the Elastos Foundation, which is what you're part of. Do you want to just explain a little bit of what their, their mission is? So the Elastos Foundation is the main entity of Elastos. They're based in Shanghai and Beijing and it's about 80 employees and they're building out the core code of our infrastructure. And I work for them here in America. We have a team of six, seven people. And we, some are in Silicon Valley, some are on the East Coast. We're decentralized in that respect. Um, and really that's part of our motto is that we want to mirror what we're doing in tech with human beings, you know, like, and it's really an interesting way to to meet with people all over the world and work that way. But um, the foundation is in charge of this infrastructure and recently we have shifted some of our we're rather decentralized, but we've shifted even more into the decentralized space by creating a, something called Cyber Republic. And so Cyber Republic was announced at our anniversary in Thailand a couple weeks ago. This is a project to create what is really a talent pool of people all over the world, live anywhere, help us build this internet. And we believe in it so much that we've, we're have we moving 16.5 million estimated uh, ELA of our coins over to this project, which is about half. So we really disrupted ourselves. We, um, our founder, Ron Chen, really believes that he wants the world to build this. It's not about him. It never was. Um, so really, you're going to see even myself being disrupted, and you're going to have people come in and, and all over the world and do what I'm doing in a way that will be unique and, in that sense, better, because there will be more people with strong voices. And um, So the foundation itself is relatively... The, the core group in the West, the core group in China. As we expand, I think a lot of it will happen in this uh, community-driven project. There may be some more people that add to the core team, but we're focusing on that now. And now, so with the Cyber Republic, is there a way for someone who wants to contribute to this project, a way for them to apply to contribute at this point in time? or So we launched an alpha version of the website, right? So we want the idea out there so people can already start contributing to how to further the idea. So the website is, it's been launched. Right now you can sign up, so in the future, within the next month or two, it's going to be more like a LinkedIn or a Facebook, um, obviously a very decentralized version of that, but you'll be able to create a profile, upload a resume, pick a location where you live, start connecting peer-to-peer -peer with people, right? And you could be a marketer, you could be a lawyer, um, you know, you could be a writer, you could be a videographer, or you could be just what we like to call everyone, an entrepreneur. Yes. Uh, but obviously there's a lot of developers that are joining. And the main projects right now in Cyber Republic are, we have something called CR100. Mm -hmm. 
100 dApps with the templates for you know what we'd like to see. So you can submit a white paper with a team and apply to get an angel investment. We'll fund some of your project. Mm -hmm. And what's great about Elastos is the dApps are very scalable in our ecosystem. They run on the device itself in this secure sandbox environment. So um, we can really scale and have an internet of dApps. But we need people to start building these dApps. But really down the road, we could see a small team of entrepreneurs with a white paper get off the ground and then look in the ecosystem for marketers, you know, et cetera, et cetera. Help with those Right, sort of like a LinkedIn. but And maybe even other blockchain projects would come and be interested in poaching people from our ecosystem and we're not against that we want to create a talent pool of people that can help build a new internet and that's the goal um, obviously we want people to build on Elastos because the, the infrastructure we built is really optimal for a better internet but cyber Republic is going to invite the world to help us build and we're and we're funding you know yeah. we're funding it yeah that's amazing and um, definitely if anyone out there is interested in contributing to this Elastos project uh, through cyber Republic please feel free to look up more information and we'll be sure be sure to provide links in the bottom of this video as well uh, and you guys recently did launch an alpha uh, network as well that allows for side chains peer-to-peer uh, -peer smart web you want to go into that a little bit yeah so at our anniversary we, we launched a couple of big announcements one of them was the alpha smart web so right now developers can start to build on this ecosystem and the ecosystem itself I can go into it's uh, it's quite vast mm -hmm. so we have this network operating system which will connect smart devices IOT devices could be cars, could be appliances. Solar power, energy. Could be anything that can connect to the internet and, and can have an operating system. Mostly we're focusing on the smartphone application. So okay. you'll download our app when it's released uh, right on top of your iOS, right on top of your Android. And once you're in that app, everything inside that app is a dApp that is built on Elastos. Oh, wow. So all devices connect peer to peer and all data is stored decentralized. Um, and the way our blockchain works is our blockchain is just um, really to distribute IDs mm -hmm. on the network and to keep tra you know to keep track of our coin um, and that's the ELA coin and do you have a current value of that what is currently trading at at today's value uh, last time I checked it was somewhere between eight and ten dollars okay um, but I haven't checked today and another announcement you said you guys made recently was uh, merged mining with Bitmain. You want to just go into that? Yes, that was our third announcement at the anniversary. So we've partnered with Bitmain, um, and I think most of our community knew about this for the last couple months, but we had a estimated release date of merge mining in December. We announced that it was live in August. So right now, BTC.com mining pool can simultaneously mine Bitcoin and our coin Ella at the same time. Without extending any further electricity or energy than it would? Correct. So it doesn't add to any of the electricity uh, issues but what it does do is it, it creates a much stronger ecosystem for us so you can picture that the Bitcoin blockchain is underneath the Elastos blockchain so we're getting all of that security because it's the strongest blockchain in the world um, so that's actually very interesting if there's anyone out there that currently mines Bitcoin you'd want to look into uh, this merged mining technique here to not only get the Bitcoin but to profit in the uh, the ELA as well um, so you guys main goal is to fix the internet you believe that what we currently have have is broken and the proposal you have is, is going to be an upgrade to our current system. Um, you differentiate from other projects, uh, you're more secure, you're more scalable, uh, inclusive, even you have some interoperability uh, aspects as well. Uh, you want to go into that? So, yeah, the Elastos ecosystem can actually integrate with other projects. Um, currently we've been porting Ethereum smart contracts and Neo smart contracts. So you'll be able to interact with those smart contracts while still being in the Elastos ecosystem. Uh, and we do have a so what's called a friend chain, which is a capability to actually interact with that blockchain itself while still in the Elastos ecosystem. So we like to think that we're an infrastructure for the new internet, we're not really in competition with other projects. We're more interested in utilizing what everyone can do well and putting it on top of the Elastos infrastructure because we really have uh, a really great infrastructure that I don't think anyone else has. But it's about building on top of it. It's not. It doesn't have anything that 
itself, in and of itself, right? So it's an infrastructure. We need people to build dApps. We need people to utilize all of the, the fantastic things that are happening in other projects, like smart contracts, integrate them all into this ecosystem. And what's great about us is we can scale. You know, we can build who knows how many dApps on this project because each dApp will have its own side chain. So we don't have a congested blockchain in this in this architecture. It's a very simple blockchain. It does very simple things. In fact, our ID system is a side chain. It's not the actual main. The main chain is just Ella moving from one place to the next. The side chain, the first side chain that we built was the ID side chain. And that's what's going to give the trust mechanism in this internet. So you'll have your own ID, one ID that's decentralized for the ecosystem. Devices get an ID, websites get an ID, applications get an ID. Nothing can just do whatever it wants anymore. We have, okay. a, we have a way to trust what's happening mm -hmm. and to trust how data is moving between people and devices. Uh, and what's fantastic, like I said, is it's scalable. Now, when you say scalable, do you have, I know with the side chains, there could be a possibility of what unlimited transactions per second, or do you have like a set number, a fixed number that you guys currently uh, are marking on your network for transactions per second? For the side chains or for the for the main chain? Uh, in total, or the side chains, uh, singular by themselves. Well, our founder believes that transaction speed is not is not flashy to him. It's not really important to him. So, uh, what's great about it is each side chain only has to worry about itself. Right. So we don't. You don't have. If you're a side chain, you have a DAP. You don't have to worry about how fast anything else is. Just your own. You'll be as fast as your side chain can be, which is why it's great that each DAP can get its own side chain. Transaction Transaction speed itself is not something that we focus on, but um, I think that it'll be as fast as the internet is. Oh. That's some great stuff here. Great insight from Zach from the Elastos Foundation. And uh, Zach, it was great having you here. I uh, really appreciate you coming on the show today. Pleasure. Take care until next time.